What's going on everyone and welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing a Kingdom Come Deliverance patch note video. Patch 1.6 came out and this is a really, really cool patch because along with all you, you know the usual bug fixes and whatnot, we got the inclusion of a hardcore mode. Something I've been kind of looking forward to. I mean, not drastically. I'm not like there's a lot of people right now who are very excited for this and I am excited for this and I'm even thinking about doing a hardcore mode uh, let's play of sorts. So let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. But a game like KCD that was already kind of quote unquote survival where you had to eat, sleep, drink to survive and now they're pushing that even further. I'm really excited to see how this plays. Uh, granted, I haven't given it a chance yet, but the patches are officially out on every platform. Xbox, PS4 and PC it came out late last night. Uh, I just downloaded it, played about 20 minutes. I haven't played the game in a bit though, so I'm playing on my normal character. So that's why you're mostly going to just see me walking around and stuff. No combat in this video. Uh, so let's go over the quick features of what is included in this hardcore mode. So first thing you should know is that on the compass, no longer are you going to be able to get directions on where you're going. No North, South, East, West, that's not going to be there anymore. So now you're going to actually have to, you know, look at the map. Um, waypoints are no longer shown unless you're close to them fast travel isn't possible that's usually that's a typical feature in survival hardcore type modes like this at least in bethesda games and whatnot and i'm, I'm a big fan of that there's no more auto saving at all something i really don't like actually i strongly disagree with this decision um because kcd even with all the bug fixes it's had it still crashes a bit in fact i my game crashed earlier uh, granted it's nothing crazy but it's like Man, this is just an annoying thing, in my opinion. I get where they're going with this. You have to, it's a typical saving system now. Save your schnapps, sleeping, going to a bathhouse and whatnot, or ex save and exit. Um, but the fact that there's no auto saving at checkpoints is kind of really bothering me, but I don't want to get too into it. You can't rely on eating from cooking pots anymore, which is kind of what I think most people were doing uh, when you needed food and you were just in a village. You can just go up to a pot and eat out, eat out of it and your health would be you know, fixed up and your hunger would be fixed up. So now the best way to regenerate health uh, is actually to sleep. Uh, food and healing potions take a while to kick in now. You're only alerted on your current health and stamina levels by means of in-game visuals combat it, so basically your your hud no longer is going to tell you your stamina and health you have to just basically look at the screen and figure it out uh, which is cool combat is more realistic in hardcore mode uh, strikes have more realistic impact and engaging in combat with an experienced warrior without wearing quality armor is very deadly so basically it just sounds like they buffed up the enemies and you know maybe debuffed uh, the, the main character a bit or maybe they just made attacks hit harder because that's kind of what it sounds like here uh, traders will now pay less for goods and rewards are lower repairs also cost more so this is this is going to be quite a bitch because i already feel like a lot of traders don't have money in the game uh, when i'm trying to sell a lot of stuff so now it's going to be even more of a pain in the ass to uh, sell all my gear and whatnot now, along with these features, we also have negative perks being introduced into the game. And this is a really cool system that I actually didn't know about because I haven't been following the game the past couple of weeks because I've been busy, like I said. Uh, so you actually have to pick two perks at the beginning of a new game when you select hardcore mode. And it's going to affect your entire playthrough. And you have to pick two of these things. Uh, and this is kind of similar to what Fallout does, where you, uh, I think Fallout New Vegas, where you have to pick... Well, you don't have to, but you can pick like things that really benefit you, but they're also going to detract things. Uh, they're going to detract other skills and perks from your from your character. So I'm going to go through all these real quick. So the first perk is nightmares. Every time you wake up, you are shaken from a nightmare and suffer a short term debuff. Sleeping becomes more of a tactical choice. There's claustrophobic. When you close your helmet visor, your attack lowers. You have to choose between better protection or higher attack. Hemophilia, you bleed more, which makes taking hits in combat riskier. We have Numb Skull, which lowers your XP gain, a perfect perk for players who thought the vanilla skill progression was way too fast. I actually love this perk. I'm definitely going to pick this when I do my hardcore mode because I do feel like you become OP after like 20 hours in the game. Um, and it is quite the shift from the beginning when you suck ass. Uh, I felt like you became OP a little too fast. So this is a really cool perk. So then we have Shakes, which is... Uh, makes aiming a bow and pickpocketing and lock picking harder definitely something I won't be picking because I already think aiming the bow and lock picking is hard enough 
Uh, we have consumption, which allows, which makes your stamina regenerate slower, and it makes combat more challenging because you're not going to be able to just constantly be swinging because your stamina is going to take a long time to regenerate. Then you have tapeworm, which means you get hungry faster. Uh, and then sun, you have brittle bones, which means you have to be careful running down cliffs and riding horses. Basically, fall damage is going to be a lot, lot more. And then we have a perk called sunambulant sorry if i don't sorry if i didn't pronounce that right uh which basically means you have the slight chance of waking up somewhere else from where you fell asleep which basically you sleepwalk so pretty cool all of these features may are going to make for a really cool survival hardcore mode i'm definitely looking forward to playing the game on hardcore mode now along with this awesome new mode we also have the usual patch notes for patch 1.6 so we now have a feature allowing us to disable tutorials in the settings menu and the games options really cool I think there's actually a mod that enabled us to do that anyways but it's great that they're actually implementing it into the full game especially for console players who want to do a new character and they don't want to go through all the tutorials and whatnot Henry's trunk in the Huntsman Lodge no longer has the rob prompt knocking out Nicholas in Chirrut's La Fremie no longer breaks the quest. Fixed bug in the nasty habits which sometimes prevented players from delivering wine. Fixed light optimization that causes freezes while riding a horse for a prolonged time. Hans Capon no longer sleeps till judgment day after completing the prey quest. Killing NPCs and playing with the devil quest properly fails it. Killing executioner Herman should no longer tank the player's reputation. Guards react faster to knocking someone out and carrying the body. They fix numerous bugs in the quest Aquarius. You can no longer drink a port from Talmberg Castle in, a run, in the run quest. NPCs react faster to players' surrenders. That's awesome because there's been times where I've wanted to surrender and they'll still attack me. It's just kind of annoying, but I'm glad that they're fixing that. Standing up before dice minigames with Nightingale no longer breaks keeping the peace quest. Fixed another bug affecting bird cages in a bird in the hand quest. Guard should no longer attack player after he's paid a fine or talked his way out of punishment. That's another bug I've experienced. Uh, crouch does not immediately trigger stealth music. So, all in all, we got a really, really good patch. In my opinion, this is probably the best patch out of everything we've gotten regarding Kingdom Come Deliverance. I mean, not only are we getting numerous more bug fixes and uh, patch and just, you know, little tweaks in here and there, but we're also getting a brand new survival hardcore mode. I'm really looking forward to From the Ashes, which is going to be the first big DLC from Kingdom Come Deliverance coming out next month, I believe. Not 100% sure, because like I said, I haven't been totally following all the game's news, but I'm definitely getting back into the swing of things. I'm definitely going to be making videos on the game once again. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other content. I'm doing a lot of Elder Scrolls 6 based content. Links in the description for my Things We Want series, which is basically a wish list series regarding things the community wants in Elder Scrolls 6. Thanks for watching and peace.